Hello, welcome to our Arkel Training Videos channel. In this video, we will explain the use of the bypass switch, which is used according to the EN81-20 standard in the Arcode Integrated Lift Control System, and the exit procedure from the pit inspection. What is the bypass switch, and how does it work? According to the EN81-20 standard, the bypass switch is used to detect a fault in the case of a door lock or contact failure. It also ensures the corresponding door lock or contact is bridged, so that the fault may be fixed. The bypass switch consists of a four-position rotary cam switch located in the control panel or in the service panel. The position and functions of the rotary cam switch are as follows. Position 0 no bridging is required. The lift is in a normal operating condition. Position 1. This position is used to bridge the landing door contact on the semi-automatic doors. When this position is selected, it is bridged between 120 and 130. This position is not used for fully automatic doors because door contact and lock circuits are embedded on the landing doors. Position 2. This position is used to bridge the retiring cam on the semi-automatic doors and the landing door lock safety circuit on the fully automatic doors. In this position, it is bridged between 130 and 135. Position 3. This position is used for bridging the car door contact. In this position, 135 and 140 are bridged. Only one contact of the safety circuit can be bridged at a time. In other words, Car and landing doors cannot be bridged at the same time. If the bypass switch is not in the zero position, it can only operate in inspection mode. If it is in any position other than zero, BYP text will appear on the R code screen. A warning mark will also appear above the door icon on the main screen of RM. Once the door contact issue has been resolved, the bypass switch must be turned to zero position. The bypass switch is monitored by the PI5 input on the DFC board. If the bypass switch is in the zero position, 24 VDC is supplied to the PI5 input. If the bypass switch is in any position other than zero, it will not supply a signal to the PI5 input. It will also detect that R code is in the bypass position. How to make general settings and connections? According to the norm, Information about the door fully closed limit is required to operate the lift in the bypass position. For door fully closed information, the connection must be made to the K19 input defined on the inspection board from the door control board or the limit switch on the door. Additionally, the status of the limit connection should be checked via RM. When the door is fully closed, a blue line will appear in front of the red arrows above the door icon shown on the RM main screen. This line should appear only when the door is fully closed. Otherwise, the connection is incorrect. The operating mode should be set to normal operation in the basic settings menu of the device parameters. EN81-20 compatible must be selected for door safety contact connections parameter in the common door settings submenu under the Door Settings menu. Additionally, Door Bypassing Switch and Pit Inspection Terminal must be selected, installed in the Other Settings menu. According to the standard, the audible and visual warning flasher placed under the car must be connected to the inspection box as shown in the diagram. How to use the lift in bypass mode After the relevant connections and settings are made, the bypass switch is set to the appropriate position according to the safety circuit to be bridged. The inspection or recall hand terminal is set to the inspection position. The up or down button on the recall terminal and the up and move or down and move button on the inspection hand terminal must be pressed. This will trigger the lift to move at the inspection speed. During movement, an audible and visual warning will be given from the flashlight under the car. After the relevant fault is fixed, the maintenance inspection handheld terminals must be set to the normal position. 
and the bypass switch must be set to the zero position for the lift to resume normal operation. IPR – Exit from Pit Inspection According to the EN 81-20 norm, the inspection hand terminal located at the pit should be used. If the pit inspection hand terminal is set to the inspection position, the following conditions must be fulfilled for the lift to return to normal operation or to be used in the inspection on the car roof or recall position in the control panel. The operating mode should be set to normal operation in the basic settings menu of the device parameters. EN 81-20 must be selected as installed for door safety contact connections parameter in the common door settings submenu under the door settings menu. Additionally, door bypassing switch and pit inspection terminal must be selected, installed in the other settings menu. The pit hand terminal is set to the normal position. If inspection hand terminal on car roof or recall hand terminal is in the inspection position, it must also be set to the normal position. The doors must be closed and the safety circuit must be active. In this case, the safety circuit components of 120, 130, 140 and the maintenance control signals of 868, 869 and 870 should appear in green on the RM main screen. If the inspection signal appears as 140 in a grey colour, despite the maintenance control signals of 868, 869 and 870 and the safety circuit components of 120, 130 appearing as green, the R code will close the door allowing the 140 signal to be received when the pit reset switch is activated. A reset key switch can usually be found on the bottom floor door frame or at the bottom floor LOP. This is used to exit the pit inspection mode. This input is directly connected to the PI4 input on the DFC board. The pit reset key switch is activated for a few seconds. This allows the lift to return to normal operation. The bypass switch using and pit reset procedures are executed in this way. See you in our next Arkel training video. Goodbye.